Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Made Easy. I'm Muskan Gheri and in these tutorials we are going to discuss some basic libraries of Python. I'm assuming that you are already familiar with some basic concept of Python like printing data, lists, loops, etc. We will start with numpies and pandas and we will move to another libraries as well. For these tutorials we are going to use Jupyter only but if you have any, um, any other preferences we are good to go with that as well. Jupyter Notebook is basically a web-based interactive environment for creating Jupyter Notebook documents. It does not support only Python, it also works with Julia, R and C++. So if you want to use C++ via Jupyter Notebook, you can go with that as well. We can use Jupyter Notebook via three different ways. The first one is online Jupyter Notebook. Yes, you can use Jupyter Notebook via Google. You don't have to download anything except uh, Python in your system. The second one is obviously you download the system, you download Jupyter Notebook in your system and the third one is using Anaconda distribution. So the very first option is using online Jupyter Notebook via browser but before that we are going to check if you have Python in your system. You must have Python in your system. In order to do that open your CMD, type python dash dash version and click. Yes, I already have Python 3.8. 0.8 version in your system. If you do not have Python in your system, I recommend you to download it because without that, you won't be able to execute the code. In order to use Jupyter Notebook, open your Google in the address bar, type Jupyter Notebook. Okay, this is the official website here. Open this. Here you will see two sections one is Jupyter Lab and another one is Jupyter Notebook. As a beginner, we are going to use this one. There is an option to try it in your browser. Click on this. As you can see, Jupyter Notebook works with a number of languages. If you want to work with Python, you can uh, use Try Classic Notebook. If you want to work with C++, you can use this. So we are going to use this one right now. Open this. It will take some time. So now go to files, new notebook, there is a language python here, click on that. So here is your Jupyter notebook. So you can run all the python commands here. Let's run something. Okay, so when m2 is coming, let's run that. <laughs> okay, so it's executing the code correctly. Here it is. It is our first way. The another way is to download the Jupyter Notebook in your system. So in order to do that, open your CMD, type pip install notebook and press enter. It will automatically start uh, downloading all the required packages and files in your system. So I already have downloaded so it's showing requirement already satisfied. But once the downloading is complete, just type Jupyter Notebook and press enter. It will directly open the Jupyter Notebook in your browser. Yes, so here it is. Now go to new, choose a language. And here is your Python Notebook. Let's print something. Hello world. So it's working. The third way of using Jupyter Notebook is via Anaconda distribution. It is basically a distribution for data science and ML application. If we are using this distribution, we do not have to download packages or libraries separately because it already comes with a number of packages. Like for Jupyter Notebook earlier, what we did was downloaded the Python file separately, but here we do not need to do that. So let's see how we can download Anaconda distribution in our system. Go to your Google. Open it. In address bar, type Anaconda distribution. This is the official website here. Go to this link.
okay so here is a one downloading option here but if you are a linux or mac user you can download the setup from here as per your requirement as i am a windows user i am go going to download this one once i click on this link the downloading will start automatically but i already have this setup in my system so i am not going to download it again so once the downloading is complete open the link it might take some time it depends yeah so this dialog box will appear click on next so, okay so i already have anaconda 3 package same folder in folder of the same name so i'm just going to rename it go to next check this option and add anaconda add anaconda 3 to my path environment variable then click on install once you click on installation the installation will start automatically and it will take some time once the installation is complete go to your search bar type anaconda navigator okay so right click here and go to the file location so here are some cool applications we just have downloaded it includes anaconda navigator powershell prompt jupyter notebook research spider settings spider spider is basically used for scientific programming in python it stands for scientific python development environment i guess so but we only need Python jupyter notebook here so let's see what is in the anaconda navigator open it so here are some cool softwares here is spider, pycharm, vs code, jupyter lab, notebook, launch, click on jupyter lab launch button ok so here we have our jupyter, jupyter notebook go to files then go to new choose your language and here is our jupyter notebook you can run all the python commands here 